What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own updated custom elite Drew McIntyre. <laughs> So guys, I haven't done this series in a little while. You know, I said this was going to be a brand new series on the channel, and I haven't done one in a little bit, so I think it is time to finally do an updated one. Last time we did how to make your own custom Kenny Omega. You know, I went through the part selection and what you would need, how much it would cost, and all that good jazz. So I'm going to do the same thing here today for an updated Drew McIntyre. Obviously, if you just want a regular Drew McIntyre, you can go out on eBay, uh, search up Elite 9 Drew McIntyre, and this is the figure right here. It'll probably cost you somewhere between $30 to $50, honestly, guys. This figure right here is actually really rare right now. Mine's a bit beat up, so uh, I have a cheaper option for you. Uh, it may get up there. You know, you may have to do some work, but uh, this is definitely the way to go. I had mine custom made by BEW, my good friend BEW Animations. Absolute beast customizer. Uh, we took this head scan, and he, un, you know, he dremeled off the headband, sculpted on some hair, and painted it up, sculpted on a beard, and bam, this is an updated Drew McIntyre on a different body. I'm going to take you through the parts, guys, so let's go ahead and get started. All right, guys, so with the head scan right here, this head scan is, again, the 3MB head scan, this one right here, and this one actually is expensive. If you go on eBay or something like that, this head on the basic that it comes with is literally no tw less than like 20 bucks, 25 bucks. It even goes higher than that. There may be a cheaper option on Amazon. I haven't checked, but on eBay, it's literally going to cost 20 to $25 just for the freaking head scan, and that is ridiculous. Uh, this body is a Barry Windham from the Hall of Fame 4-pack. I had a few laying around, and the arms, torso, crotch, and legs are perfect for it. All you need is some basic black elite boots, you know, elite Cody Rhodes boots, Wade Barrett. Wade Barrett, I think, even has the, like, whole, the height, the torso, the trunks, and everything. So if you want to avoid, you know, having to switch the boots or whatever, just pick up an Elite 11 Wade Barrett. Elite 34 Wade Barrett works as well. He has the right torso. He has the right boots. I even believe uh, you'd have to acetone off the uh, tattoo, obviously, but if you want to avoid, you know, switching boots and all that jazz, then you could just get Wade Barrett and acetone the tattoo off the shoulder switch the arms and then uh, yeah but uh, that way Barrett figure is actually pretty cheap it comes in at around you can literally get the series 11 I think it's the elite series 11 way bear for like $14 right now on Amazon or not Amazon but eBay you can also get the series 18 way bear for like $10 on eBay and you can get uh, the Elite 34 for a cheap price too. So on eBay, Elite Way Bears are very cheap. The Again, the, the only thing you'd have to do is acetone off that tattoo, switch the arms with some smaller arms like this. But Barry Windham, you wouldn't have to do that. All you'd have to do is switch the boots with some uh, regular black boots. And that is pretty much it for the uh, Drew McIntyre. Obviously, BEW did paint on the uh, decals there on the, on the uh, trunks and on the back you see McIntyre it's got that uh, wolf design or whatever with the scroll and everything looks absolutely beautiful his NXT attire right here I don't even think he's changed it yet but uh, the head scan is beautiful again if you don't have you know the ability to dremel and sculpt and all that jazz then you could pick up again the Elite 9 head scan this just doesn't look like him right now you could probably paint on a beard and it wouldn't look as bad or you could dremel down the hair on this elite Drew McIntyre and then hair swap it. I've seen people do that. I don't really know what hair you'd put on there. Maybe some longer hair, possibly edge or something like that. I'm not exactly sure. But uh, that's pretty much how you would make an uh, updated elite Drew McIntyre, guys. I know it's uh, a little bit expensive. It literally the total cost if you wanted to make one, depending on the formula that you wanted to use, it's literally going to range probably 40 to $60 in there because it's it's actually a pretty expensive custom. He's in very high demand right now. I luckily got mine before he got caught up and everything. I got mine like mid NXT run, so uh, huge shout out to BEW for that. But uh, I may be trading this Drew McIntyre. I don't know. I just don't think I want to keep it or something like that. It's just not something that I'm very interested in doing right now. Uh, since I have my updated one, this one literally has no purpose. I thought about doing a different custom or something, but he's so freaking tall. There's literally nothing you can do besides make a different Drew McIntyre. If you want your Drew McIntyre to have this look with a different torso, I have no idea what to do, guys, because this is uh, literally like a one-of-a-kind mold. He's so tall and he's so ripped. I don't think you can literally find a tall guy like this besides Randy Orton, but his uh, skin tone's darker than this, so it's literally uh, kind of impossible. This one's kind of has some marks on it. I need to clean it up a bit, but that's pretty much going to do it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I did not, when I started this video, I had no idea it would be that expensive to make a custom updated Drew McIntyre. 
But uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.